Bills. For Christmas, we couldn't get the guy in the white beard, but we did get a guy with white spiked hair, Tom Bobcat Tolbert, plus a fan heading for the North Pole who got detoured to Phoenix. Also this week, some early gifts for Rodney Rogers, Tim Perry, and Isaiah J.R. Ryder. And instead of Christmas carols, we have people screaming in Japanese. All of that in this edition of Free One. <laughs> I know this guy by the back of his hand. It's the chief waiting for Rewind. Friday. I knew Stacey Ogman was talented, but I didn't think he could do this. Loses the shoe, holds onto it with one hand, then off the miss, he snags a rebound with the other hand. And has the presence of mind to pass the ball, not the shoe. In the final seconds, Isaiah Ryder drives through the net, gets the hoop, and the T-Wheels get their first home win of the year. Their fans made some noise, but not as much as these people shouting at a contest in Japan. That's Japanese for Saturday! Charles Barkley says Merry Christmas and presents this dish to A.C. Green, who fakes out two kings and then puts it on. A.C. and he's fouled. Not much of a chance to snow in Phoenix, but you can always hope. Check out Rodney Rogers. He's got the rim with one end, the tip in with the other. Sunday! I'd keep my back turned, too, if I had hair like that. And how about Tom Tolbert's hair? Tommy Tolbert, look at that hair, dude. We asked people in Japan for their reaction. I agree. Let's mellow out a little with my man Dikembe. Oh, you love. My man, no matter how bad he sings. Tuesday, Tim Perry found himself a nice Christmas gift. He didn't even have to look at it. I know he liked Good it. Shoot. Throws up a desperation shot and hits it. Bobby Hurley got to meet the fans and even walked away with some food. He's got nacho uh, cheese on his arm. Then Scott Scowls went up there looking for some nachos. I guess he didn't get any. In L.A., Cedric Tobias needs a three to hit 50 points. You gotta have a three. You gotta have a three. It's on the way. Ah! 50 points to Dallas. Grant Hill was ready with a comeback when Letterman asked him about his contract. You, uh, you're making uh, a lot of dough, aren't you? You signed a huge deal, like an eight-year deal, for a lot of money. Yeah, well, nothing like you. Though. Well, of course not. No, no. Wednesday, they're still screaming. <laughs> I guess she must have seen this lady's hat. <laughs>